Hello, I'm Tini Esveld. I live in Antwerp and I want to show you something about the beautiful part of my hometown Antwerp. Here we are in the Kogels Ossilé and it's, all these houses are made in the Belle Epoque, which means you have about a thousand houses from neoclassicism, historic style and of course Art Nouveau style. Art Nouveau style, you see one there which is the sunflower house. It's asymmetrical because in the Art Nouveau style um, all, all everything is about fluid lines of nature and of course the houses are asymmetrical too because nature is never symmetrical. The, you have the sunflowers and you see the cast iron which is also another element of the Art Nouveau. And when we, you look at the neighbor's house, we see the tulip on the rooftop in cast iron as well. And as well the balcony, uh, a little bit below. And when we go to the other neighbors, we see the Irish, Irish flower in cast iron on top of the house. And again, the balcony with the porch and the cast iron in the stoneware very lovely Art Nouveau elements. So the name of the street is Kogels Ossilé and it is named after John Kogels who married Josephine Ossi and she inherited the grounds from her father and John Kogels parceled it out and you see when you see the Kogels Ossilé you see all the front yard so this is expensive ground. When we go around the corner we see the other streets without front gardens and a little bit smaller houses. So the area was built between 1881 and 1914 and in the 60s the government wanted to demolish the whole area but luckily some of the owners of the houses were against it. But some of them were still demolished and there came some modern ones in between. But I think this is good like Belgium. It's typical Belgium. Now we're around the corner in the Transvaal street and notice the Chinese lantern on the facade of this house. Uh, remember the famous table made by Louis Marjorel in with the lotus flower shape and the bronze feet and also of course the dragonfly table made by Emile Gallet with the dragonflies as the legs of the table and the lotus flower shape on top. Here we are in the Waterloo Street which is named of course after the Battle of Waterloo by Napoleon and Wellington and when you look behind me you see the house with the bricks which is well, very Belgium Art Nouveau and of course the lines and the glass mosaic tiles which were also very much used in the Art Nouveau period. Here we have another group of uh, four famous houses. It's spring, summer, fall and winter. And the tiles are almost like Musha, with the girls and the feminine. And of course in the, sp the spring you have the bellflowers as main theme. In the summer you have the poppies and the wheat ear. And remember the chair made by Calais with the wheat ear and the poppies on the top. And then of course in the fall you have the bunches of grapes. The house with the winter theme is very unusual because instead of a feminine lady you get the man with the white hair and the beard and the snow and the holly is there as well. I hope you enjoyed our little walk here in Antwerp in the Art Nouveau area and maybe you make your next city trip to Antwerp and be sure to visit our Art Nouveau gallery. I got a bit thirsty so I think I'm going in there to get myself one of the famous Belgium beers. Bye bye!